Or what do you think the biggest dating issue is in Dallas? Guys just don't shoot their shot like ever anymore. They just wait for the girl to make the move now. You guys aren't pursuing girls. This one's for all the dudes that complain that they just don't want to approach women anymore because they think they're going to be slapped with sexual harassment. I would say I'm 50-50 on it. Definitely depends on the person. If they're kind. Like a lot of people I feel like don't come off kind. You know, like kind of like a cocky personality. I don't like that. What's a piece of shit? Because I don't want guys focusing their life on women man i don't yeah. want guys hurting themselves over women yeah there's dudes out here that are killing themselves over women busted i caught this guy checking me out in the gym after yesterday's run i decided to take a rest day and do some stretching i was feeling actually really good today so you captioned this post the worst part about your gym at home is the old men staring to peep that guy in the back okay let's peep that guy in the back he's not even looking at you He's probably looking up watching one of those TVs for some sports highlights. But you'd rather take a photo to post on social media, make yourself out to be a victim, which you're not, just for some likes and attention. Do you have any idea what this can do to that man in that gym, in his community, to his family, and all for what? So you can get some likes and attention? Seriously? Women are absolutely harassed in gyms, and it needs to stop. But you are not one of them. And the next time you go home, I hope you have to find a new gym because this one kicks your ass out. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Hey everyone. We've all seen those videos where men are unfairly labeled as CRP, even when they aren't at fault. It's frustrating and discouraging for men who are just trying to be respectful and kind. Because of this, many men are stepping back and giving women the freedom they've been asking for. So, men are choosing to focus on themselves, their goals, and their dreams instead. It's about time we all reassess how we treat each other and strive for mutual respect and understanding in our interactions. Thanks for tuning in. I've got more thoughts and insights to share, so sit back, relax, and let's dive in. How do you feel about being approached at the gym by a guy? Um, I feel like if it's like with the right intentions and like if I seem like okay enough to come up to me and talk to me. I think it all depends on my body language, like read the room. It's fine. I mean, I'm gonna be nice to you. A lot of people don't give like weird vibes. <laughs> There's scenarios where men do it a little awkwardly and it makes us women feel uncomfortable. I don't mind it if they're like being encouraging or like being nice or like anything like that. Like, oh, like that was good set, like, you know, encouraging stuff. It just like depends. I would say I'm 50-50 on it. Definitely depends on the person. If they're kind, like a lot of people I feel like don't come off kind, you know, like kind of like a cocky personality. I don't like that. Also, as a woman, do you think you don't get approached that often or do you get approached a lot? Because I've, I've met some pretty attractive girls and like I've never been approached in at a bar and I'm like, whoa, as guys, I think we just think girls get approached all the time. So we don't want to be just another number. Right. OK, I think that I've been approached quite a bit, but mostly in Europe. In okay. Australia, it doesn't really happen. And I'm not too sure why it is. We're tired of being unjustly labeled. And because of that, many of us are backing out. When we go to the gym, we mind our own business. It used to be that women got a lot of attention at the gym, but now they're starting to see what it's like when men don't approach them. Maybe now they'll see the value in us. We have started stepping back, giving them the space and freedom they've been asking for. Now they might have to approach and see how it feels to get rejected. The lady mentioned that if a woman doesn't like a man, she'll politely say so. But let's be real, that's pretty rare. More often than not, rejections are harsh or come with negative labels. To avoid all this drama, many men just don't want to approach anymore. We're avoiding the worst case scenarios where misunderstandings lead to being unfairly judged. It's a shame because it means fewer opportunities for genuine connections. So for all the guys out there, keep focusing on your goals and respecting yourself. And for the ladies, maybe take a moment to understand where we're coming from. Mutual respect and understanding can go a long way in bridging this gap. This one's for all the dudes that complain that they just don't want to approach women anymore because they think they're going to be slapped with sexual harassment. And let's hear it. Guys, you are making a mountain out of a molehill. Really? And why is that? You understand that that is worst possible case scenario. Yes, and a lot of people's minds often go to the worst case scenario. I wonder, is one going to stop telling women to think of the worst case scenario when they're approached by men? Probably not, right? And the likelihood of it actually happening is very, very, very slim. I refer back to my previous question. 
What's more likely to happen is that if you approach a woman and she is just not interested for whatever reason, which could be one of many reasons, mind you, she will likely just politely let you down easy. Likely, yes. But that doesn't change the fact that most people's minds go off into what is the worst case scenario. And in my professional opinion, that's worth taking the five seconds out of your day to go up to the woman that you're interested in and say hello. Could it be worth it? Yes. Do a lot of guys want to risk the possibility of rejection or worse? No. Because being all angry, butthurt in the comments, and just swearing off women and dating altogether is not helping you. It's only making your mental health worse. What would really be nice to see is for some individuals to really stop downplaying the lived experiences of some men, as well as their fears and their feelings. I think we'd get a lot farther in communication if we would actually just start listening to each other. Can we talk about the man that got out of a toxic relationship years ago? He probably decided to remain single instead of risk his sanity again. And now it's been so long that he no longer actively seeks a relationship anymore. But it's not that he's sworn them off. It's just that he doesn't want to put his energy into pursuing somebody that doesn't seem interested in being pursued. He's not willing to chase something, especially when he's already found his peace. And he really enjoys his peace, so not only does the activity of chasing a woman disturb his peace, but even entering into a relationship with her eventually can threaten his long-term peace. But what's messed up is that this group of men are usually really good guys. They're the guys that would make really good husbands. But these men will not move forward with a woman unless he sees genuine interest from her to learn about who he is, what he loves, how he thinks, where he likes to spend his time. It requires real effort on her part. And it is only when this type of man finds a woman that is willing to put an effort and genuine interest early on in a relationship that 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 man will risk it again. One big reason is the rejections and toxicity from many modern women. It's disheartening, and it's making us good men choose our peace and quiet over trying to start a new relationship. As the lady shared in the clip, many men have been in toxic relationships before and have decided they'd rather be alone than go through that again. So it's no surprise we are not eager to approach women anymore. Whether it's at a bar or any social setting, we aren't as willing to put ourselves out there. A common scenario is men being expected to buy drinks for women who might not even be interested in getting to know them. It's frustrating to invest time, effort, and money only to be met with indifference or outright rejection. This kind of experience made us wary of approaching women in the first place. So it's not about a lack of interest in relationships or connecting with women. It's about avoiding the negative experiences that have become all too common. For many men, it's just not worth the emotional toll. Most ladies seem to expect us to be mind readers or magicians, knowing exactly when they're in the mood to talk. It's the same cycle over and over and honestly we're tired of it. We prefer our peace and serenity. We aren't interested in playing guessing games about when it's okay to approach or start a conversation. If women want to connect with us, they should come and meet us halfway. It's about mutual effort and understanding not about one side always having to figure everything out. So, to all the ladies out there, if you're interested, show it. Don't leave us guessing. And to all the men, keep valuing your peace and don't feel pressured to be a mind reader. Genuine connections happen when both sides are clear and open about their intentions. Because I don't want guys focusing their life on women, man. I don't want guys hurting themselves over women. Yeah. There's dudes out here that are killing themselves over women that don't give a fuck about you. I just told you guys, women are not designed to be loyal. They're designed to look for the best. So you become the best. Man. We men have bigger goals and aspirations to chase. There's no point in spending our time pursuing women who can't be satisfied and who have delusional expectations. Instead, let's focus on our dreams and ambitions. We can't constantly try to meet unrealistic standards that some women set. It's exhausting and unfulfilling. So let's put our energy into achieving our goals and becoming the best versions of ourselves. If a woman truly values us, she'll come to us. She'll see our worth without us having to jump through hoops. To all the men out there, keep your eyes on your aspirations. Don't let anyone distract you from your path. And to the ladies, if you're really interested in a guy, show it. Meet him halfway. Mutual respect and effort are key to building meaningful relationships. On Reddit, a lady asked a question which I would like to get your opinions on in the comments. It reads, 
Is it okay to approach a guy at the gym? As a woman, I have had this happen to me. And although it's not ideal when you're in the middle of a workout to be approached, I can't blame anyone for trying. It's so hard to authentically meet people anymore, rather than off a dating app. Anyway, there's a guy who I see almost every day I go, and we usually work out pretty close to one another, as our gym is being renovated and it's pretty tight quarters right now. I've never really talked to him minus the, are you using this, a few times, but I want to introduce myself or something. I just don't know how, if it's totally weird to do that or not. He doesn't have a wedding ring, but obviously he could still be in a relationship. Does anyone have any advice on this? I'd hate to not give it a try, but also realize this is not the most ideal time and place. This will be all for today. What do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video.